Hey, don't let the thumbnail fool you. I'm actually pretty happy about that. Let me tell you why. Okay, but hang on a second. Why am I still wearing work clothes? I don't have a job anymore. Okay, that's better. So, it was looking like it was going to be just a normal day in the office. I went to the gym early in the morning when I got my coffee on the way to the office. And as I opened my laptop and I was reading my emails, just organizing all the requests that came through overnight, I uh, noticed this calendar invite from my boss in my inbox. And it did take me a little while to understand what was happening. And what I also noticed was that a person from HR was also invited to the meeting. And the message inside the calendar invite essentially said, we are making changes to the team and your role was made redundant. And if you don't know what a redundancy is, a redundancy is essentially when a company decides to eliminate your role. So that means that at least in the short term, they are not going to replace you. And as you can imagine, they do that as a way of saving money, cutting costs. And when you have five years or more working for that company, you normally get a compensation package that's, that's pretty good. And that was my case, so I guess I uh, cannot complain at all. And during the meeting the next day, I was then formally communicated that I was no longer going to be part of the team. And then I was only going to work for another four weeks. And at the end of that meeting, I was feeling um, pretty happy. I was feeling pretty, pretty good about it. This is what happens when you decide that today is the day to shoot a YouTube video. It starts pouring down out of nowhere. And it gets pretty cold as well. Oh, this is better. Okay, so where was I? Okay, but that raises the question. Why was I so happy? And I wasn't only happy, to be honest, I was excited, motivated. It was literally like someone just injected me with this dose of enthusiasm. Such a good feeling, like a feeling that I don't remember ever feeling before in my life. Wow, the rain is really coming down strong now. I hope you can still hear me. It's pouring now. Okay, why was I so happy? I promise I'll answer the question, but just before I go on, one quick disclaimer. The company I was working for is a great company to work for, honestly, from the people to the environment to the compensation, as I mentioned before. If you want to follow a career in a corporate world, they are one of the companies you do want to work for because it's a great company to work for. And in fact, before I moved to Australia, in Brazil, where I'm originally from, I worked for them and I was with them for six years. And at the time, there was also a redundancy when I left to then move to Australia, but it was an option. So there was a package that you could opt in if you wanted to. So uh, why was I feeling so happy? I will tell you inside the van because it's pretty cold over here and you probably can't hear me as well. So.
Oh, this is way better. Okay, and it's also important to say that in terms of the HR process, they also handle that pretty well from beginning to end with a lot of empathy and care. Now let me take this off because uh, it's hot in here. Okay, with the longest disclaimer out of the way, here's a little bit more context. So over the last four to five years, I have been flirting with the idea of starting my own business, having a YouTube channel. I even thought about opening a coffee shop. I used to be a barista back in the day. At some stage, I did start a video agency, a commercial video agency, just selling commercial videos to clients. But after a while, I realized I was not enjoying the process at all. I was spending still a lot of time inside the office, in my laptop, and after a while, it wasn't just, just wasn't fun anymore. After a while, I also realized that I was doing it for the wrong reasons, I guess. I was essentially just selling videos because I wanted a way out and I just I was just selling videos for money. I wasn't really, my heart definitely wasn't in it. And around the same time, I was for the first time journaling, so writing my thoughts down and spending a lot of time also reading books, uh, listening to podcasts and um, trying to talk to friends and family, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And one day I just asked myself one of those, quite a few of those actually, cheesy, cliche questions. So how do I really want to live my life? How do I want to spend my time? Where do I actually want to be while I'm working? What community do I want to be part of? And of course, life is not for free as everybody knows. So I wanted to know, can I really make money, make a living doing what I enjoy doing? Okay, so here are some of the answers I got. What do I really like to do? Number one, driving. I love to be on the road more than any other time in my life. When I'm on the road, I feel at home. I love driving, exploring different places. Number two, surfing. Still to this day, I don't know how I went so long without surfing in my life. And it's something that just became part of my identity nowadays. Just like number three, which is camping. I love it. I feel like in my element, I love camping alone. Just it's such a good time to enjoy my own company, connect with myself. And number four, creating creating videos, creating photos, taking photos, which is something that I never thought I would get into. Now I guess I can call myself a professional photographer because I think I'm good enough um, for where I am now in my photography journey and I've been paid. So I guess I can call myself a pro. <laughs> if that qualifies me or not, I don't know, but that's how I feel. Um, it's very clear to me how much I need a creative outlet in my life. So let's start a YouTube channel called Drive Surf Camp, where I'm gonna share content about traveling, surfing, and camping. Not only that, let's start a media agency focused in the surfing industry where I can spend as much time as I want on the beach, capturing moments, then go back to my studio, edit that, and share it with the world. So it sounded like not only I found the answers to my questions, but I executed on them and I also brought them to life. And during the last two to three years, while I was still working my full-time job, I was running A-Frame Surf Media and also creating videos for this YouTube channel. And it was pretty challenging. I'm just into the first week, essentially, as I record this video of running a frame and doing videos for the channel for the first time doing this, just dedicating my time solely to the, these two projects. It was pretty challenging running these two businesses and also working a very demanding full-time job. And during that time, I would think quite a few times a week, what it would be like to quit my full-time job and just 
go full time with a frame and and the youtube channel but we just end up just getting so comfortable i think even though we are in a situation where we are not necessarily enjoying it we just get comfortable you know it's a full-time job you have a little bit of job security at least we think so and you're getting paid every month and you just get comfortable and then it just gets pretty hard to muster up the courage to really go ahead and and take the leap but then when life decides for you you are kind of forced to make a move as i normally say it's the kick in the butt that pushes you forward okay so now let me close the massive loop i opened before why was i feeling so happy excited like somebody just injected me with a massive dose of enthusiasm well essentially I felt ready, I was ready, I am ready, I feel so ready to start this journey. And when I look at what I have, just in terms of, number one, the things I have, I have this beautiful van, I have all the camping gear I can possibly want and need, I've got all the camera gear I need and want, I've got the skills, I've got networking in the surfing industry, I've done a few jobs already, I've got the knowledge to do all of that, the software, the editing that I need to do, so um, it just feels right. I just feel so ready. And it's just one of those things that you don't realize as you're working through it. And as you're working on the side, preparing yourself, dreaming and thinking that one day what you really want to do might materialize and might come into fruition and it becomes reality. So now it seems like I'm getting closer and closer to that. And over the last couple of weeks, as I was sharing with people, what happened to me and the fact that my role was made redundant and I was out of a job. A lot of people said, I'm sorry, this happened to you. This is bad, what are you gonna do now? And then I said to quite a few of them, hey, this is a good thing. I'm happy, I'm excited. It happened at the right time. And uh, I've been saying to myself for such a long time that I wanna start my own business, that I wanna have my own journey, that I wanna work for myself and give this a good go. That if I don't try this right now, when life has definitely removed all my safety nets and excuses, I don't think I'm going to be able to look myself in the mirror again. So, um, like I said before, pretty happy and pretty excited for the next chapter. The way I look at it is our lives are just like a big, massive Netflix series full of big seasons and episodes and this is the end of a massive season in my life full of challenging joyful hard exciting chapters and i am about to start writing the next one and what's next well at this stage i think you might already know for the next couple of months at least until the end of 2024 i'm gonna put a lot of effort essentially all my energy, time, money, attention, focus in this YouTube channel and also on A-Frame Surf Media. And there is a third business opportunity showing up, which I'm going to the US next week to work on. Not only to work on that, but also on holidays to take a little bit of a break. But uh, if that comes to fruition, I am going to share with you very soon. Well, that was a lot of talking, but I was really looking forward to recording and publishing this video. I think it will be pretty cool to watch this video in the future and reflect back on the journey I'm about to embark on. And um, I don't know, to me, this is like a rite of passage, like a before and after. And if you watched this far into the video, if you're still watching, thank you very much. But uh, now it's time to go, because there's a lot of work to be done and I'll see you on the next one.